question, which is each of the three of you are, are learned scientists and, and national heroes. And, and uh, if I've understood your testimony here today correctly, each of you has discussed as a major objective, a grand goal for NASA going to Mars. Uh, I would ask each of you to take a moment uh, to address the American people and in your judgment explain the benefits to America and to the world of going to Mars and what will be re required to accomplish that objective. Well, I would start by saying <clears throat> The technology that's required to get us to Mars, uh, such things as radiation or finding new velocities and the like to do that, that will create the kind of spin-off. We've benefited for 40 years from solving the problems that we had to go to the moon. Some of those were started before, but some of it was totally unexpected. You didn't know what was going to come up, but you solved the problem, and now it's, it's uh, almost like a cancer in all areas of our industry, and we're benefiting from it. The most important thing that has to be done is they have to be willing to pay the money. I am not optimistic about us being able to put the kind of funds out there that ought to because we're busy spending money in the government for all kinds of things for which there is no return. And for all kinds of things which do not really inspire people. So I just happen to believe it's a good use of money. Rarely does a time come along in the advancement of humankind on this planet Earth that we gain the potential of really demonstrating to ourselves and to the rest of the people the fullest of the challenges. We can put together what's necessary uh, to send people to Mars in an efficient way. And we can do it by stepping up, by using some things at the moon, but not getting bogged down with a lot of investments that uh, are involved in landing humans, building the rockets to land them, and then storing them. We don't need to do that anymore. We can observe how other people store people there, take care of them, but that, where we want to do that is at, is at Mars. And we need to invest the things to get to Mars. If we invest in an ascent stage to go along with the people that are going there, it's going to cost more money. Going there with the ascent stage interferes with just the lander. By building that ascent stage and the return capability, it's taking longer to do that in time. The cost per person on the surface of Mars is less if they stay there. If we start bringing people back, okay, the biggest thing to me is as all of this thing comes along on Earth, with humanity being able to advance, to do all the wondrous things, and it's going to cost billions and billions of dollars. And we're going to select some human beings to do that. And we're going to train them. And we're going to send them there. Now, I've gone and come back from a place. Let me ask you, what do you think you're going to do with those people that go there and bring them back to continue to pay off the investment of their being the first, the pioneers, the building up of a growing settlement. They can do far more by keeping Mars occupied, helping the new people that come in. You bring them back and they can visit different places. But if you broadcast from Mars, you can reach everybody in the world because they're going to be listening in. And you can give them the stories of what you've been doing right there while you're there. There's no doubt in my mind that the value that we've invested in people from whatever the country is, and we've put them there on Mars, that's where they need to stay. And they need to know and understand that this is their opportunity to serve humanity. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, 
So benefits for our American people, what, what we could get out of this? What, what can we imagine we would get if we were to do this, this grand exploration? Um, I think eventually we are going to have to get off of this planet or learn how to do it for our own survival. Uh, learning what else is out there is, is great, would help our understanding of who we, where we are in the universe, but also just to have another place where we could live as, a, as, as another, another place where we could survive would be a, a, a good thing for us to have. And so Mars might be, might be that place. So if we decide to go there, it's giving us another option. And if we would decide to go and do this, can you imagine what would be needed, what would be developed in order to get us there? If you look back to what we did when we developed the, uh, the Apollo program and also the shuttle program, all the new technology and the spinoffs and the benefits that came not just for, this, for the space program but in other industries were tremendous. Now we're going to make a giant leap. We're going to go all the way to Mars. Can you imagine what would come out of that? I think it's also probably going to have some type of international flavor to it. Maybe, maybe not. I think the United States would be the leaders of that, I would hope. But I think that we would also maybe be doing with some of our, some of our friends. So I think it would be a great thing for international cooperation with other countries around the world, prov providing that benefit for us. And then I, I, I get back to the inspiration. And the inspiration is not just because it's a nice thing to do for kids. It's because that's where, our, that's where our future is. We're going to depend on these people to take care of our planet and build our economy and keep our country strong for many, many years. They may not all go and become astronauts. They may not. They may, hopefully a lot, they'll have more people have that option get, and keep them interested in the space program. But they may not all go on to do that or even work for NASA or be involved in it. But I do think that exploration, particularly something like you're describing going to Mars, would inspire them to, to stay in school and get their education, and maybe they'll find something along the way that they like even better than space. Maybe it'll be better for them, for us, for them not to, for certain students to go into to medicine or study uh, what they can study in, in the classroom other than going to space. But I certainly think it's going to keep their interest. And I think for that is, a, is an, kind of an intangible benefit that we would get from it as well. But I really see it as an investment in our future to inspire our young kids and also I think to help to help our country, our economy, uh, for many years to come. I think it would be a glorious thing to do. Thank you very much. Senator Nelson, do you have any additional questions? Well, then, I want to thank each of the three of you for coming and joining us. This has been a very productive panel, and we will conclude this panel and immediately move on to the second panel that uh, we'll start momentarily. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.